Hey guys, want to welcome on... Well, that sucked. Can't even get through the first five seconds. Hey, I want to welcome everyone back to Texas Silver, or if you're here for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content that I put out. Uh, I hope everyone had a safe and wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm glad to be back. Uh, I had a good time with my kids, uh, and that'll some of that will actually be at the end of this video. And before I get too far into this, I just want to say, I know a lot of these channels, uh, including mine, sometimes can get kind of doom and gloom and, you know, everything's, you know, bad and, and whatever else. But I try and include uh, some humor in my videos. So a lot of times I say stuff um, and and I'm a lot of times I'm just fishing for a laugh. I hope um, most of y'all uh, understand or get my humor. Uh, I think a lot of it's funny, but maybe y'all don't get it. But in the comments, I do get uh, comments stating that stuff that I did or said was funny. So just know that I do put that stuff in here on purpose uh, because I'm trying to lighten up the mood because I know sometimes uh, some of the subjects we talk about can get kind of dry and also, um, you know, can be a, a downer or whatever. It, the stuff does need to be talked about, I feel, and that's why I discuss it. But that's just a way for me to interact with y'all so y'all kind of get to know me on a more personal level and not just me here running my mouth about the world's coming to an end. Uh, so if, I hope everyone sticks around and in the future I hope that y'all stick around because a lot of times I'll add stuff at the end of the videos. Uh, just stuff that I think's funny or me you know, screwing around on the property or whatever. So at the end of this video or, or me running my mouth, uh, I do have some stuff that I'm doing around the property. And I put some stuff in there that I think is funny. Hopefully, uh, y'all will get a laugh out of it. Uh, but let's let's get into this. Uh, enough about that. So, hopefully, y'all didn't gain too much weight. Uh, I know I was in the gym after I ate. Um, I I love most of the food that's on there, and it was a big cheat day for me. And I ate everything. So as soon as I was done eating, a couple hours later, I was in the gym. So just make sure that uh, everyone's taking care of their body. That is a free thing that you can do or next to free is uh, regulate the type of stuff that you put in your body. Uh, also, it doesn't cost anything to go for a walk, go for a run. Uh, if you do want a gym membership, I, I would recommend that. Obviously, it's not necessary. You can do stuff, uh, calisthenics, you can do push-ups, sit-ups, leg lifts, uh, those kind of things, lunges, and you don't have to have a gym. Uh, I'm lucky that I do have a gym at the house um, I covered that in one of my other videos. Maybe I'll have to revisit that, but I did get a gym. Uh, it was right before this sickness happened. Um, I used my tax return on it and got some very nice equipment. So I'm blessed and lucky to have that on the place, on the property. I don't even have to leave. Um, so we keep hearing about everything going on with this sickness, health thing, whatever, uh, mainly overseas, but they're looking at restrictions as in people are going to have to be staying at their houses. Hopefully that doesn't come here. Uh, from what I understand, uh, the U S is not going to close down again, like we did last time. So let's pray that that happens, but this still is going to affect everyone because uh, a lot of this is happening in Asian countries and that's where most of our stuff comes from our Asian countries. So if production production uh, gets ramped down there or shut off, that's just going to affect us even over here more so than what's already going on with all the shipping container shortages and all that. So with the shortages, prices are going to rise even more. We already have inflation going on. Y'all get where I'm going with this. It's just going to be a snowball effect. Um, so if you need stuff, go get it now. Uh, just in case it's it's not going to be there, but we know stuff's going to keep going up in price, and uh, that's what's going to cause I th I believe eventually hyperinflation here because everyone is going to start realizing the masses haven't woken up to this. If you're watching this, you're aware more than likely of what's going on. But once the 99% that are clueless to what's going on start realizing how quickly the dollar is being. Uh, devalued and how quickly goods and services are going up in price. Everyone's going to start going out and trying to spend that money as quickly as it gets in their hands because they know if they wait a week or two, whatever they want to buy is going to go up in price. So uh, if you need stuff, get it now because it's just going to be more expensive tomorrow. And what's going on 
is the dollar is just losing purchasing power. It's not that these items are becoming more expensive, it's the dollar is purchasing less. So it takes more dollars to buy these goods and services. Um, so Turkey right now is on the brink of hyperinflation. Uh, since the beginning of November, the lira has already lost 28% to the dollar. Um, so that's, you know, comparing different currencies. So they've lost 20% of its purchasing power since the beginning of November. That's, that's crazy. And if it can happen in Turkey, it can, it can happen here. Um, so every, every country's central bank right now is printing and printing and printing cur currency. And this is a race to the bottom is what I believe. Uh, they're just devaluing their currencies to, to everyone else. And this is going to be a global financial crisis. I don't think this is gonna be something that is just here locally in the US. Um, this, this has never happened before. And that's why I think this is gonna get so bad. We are in uncharted territories. Um, and the world has never seen this. And so I, I could be wrong, um, but I don't think I'm gonna be. But you just have to ask yourself, you know, can you afford for me to be right. I can afford to be wrong. And that was my saying and JV stole that from me, but it's all right, I'll, I'll let him use that. Uh, but so just make sure for sure, you know, I, I like to spend money, I like to go out and do things, uh, but just make sure you at least have the basics that you have security taken care of, this stuff right here, uh, these items right here, uh, food and water. I mean, those are the main things that you really need, obviously your shelter, um, but just make sure you're topping off your preps uh, because we don't know when all this is going to come crashing down. I think we still have time. Uh, I want to say we still probably have, I mean, who knows? It could be months. I, I guess it could be years. I, I think it's going to be sooner than later. Uh, they've been able to continue this thing for a lot longer than I thought it would hold together. But, you know, it's last year when this winter storm happened, it kind of, solidified and made me feel better about all the things that I've been prepping because when that winter storm came through, nothing changed in my life. Uh, yeah, I had to keep the, the wood stove going and, and stuff like that a little bit harder than I usually do. But for the most part, nothing changed in my life. And it made me feel good. That's like, oh, wow, I'm not crazy. You know, all these preps that I've been uh, getting all these years and, you know, all the things that I've been spending money on instead of going on vacations and trips and, and buying stuff that's uh, you know, just gonna, you know, go up and, and smoke or, you know, whatever I've, I've been putting it into what I felt were assets and I think they paid off. Uh, so anytime you put money into an asset, it's going to pay off. It's something that's always going to be there. And, um, just, just know that what you're doing is not in vain. All this stuff will eventually, uh, be useful to you at some point. I've, I firmly believe that. Okay. So like today I went and filled up my, um, all my gas cans today. I went and got some non-ethanol, uh, fuel. I filled up, I don't know, I think you know, it was probably like 20 gallons of fuel. Uh, and I just rotate that, but also using it, in my small engines and stuff like that. And then I also have uh, diesel fuel that is on the property. I've got a couple really big, uh, like 500 gallon tanks that, that I keep diesel there, but I wanted to rotate my cans. So, uh, don't forget about that. I know oil got slammed this week, so take advantage. Uh, the price of oil, uh, gas is probably going to drop at the pump, so it might be a good time to fill up those gas cans and just make sure that you're rotating them. Um, so Jeremiah Babe, uh, if you follow me, you probably follow him. If not, go check out his channel, Jeremiah Babe. Uh, very intelligent guy. His um, his, uh, his videos are very informative and he's very good at what he does and I admire him and I appreciate the shout outs and everything that he's done for me. Uh, but he was talking about all these smash and grabs that have been happening. I think it was the last video, maybe two videos ago, but all around the country, these, uh, you know, 50, 80 people are breaking into these stores and looting and, you know, doing, doing whatever else they're doing, stealing stuff. Uh, so get your security in order. If you're, if you're able to, if it's legal to in your area, shame on you. If you don't have your security with you, you should have it on you at all times. If you are legally allowed to, uh, carry and own and make sure you always do your due diligence. 
and you know the local laws and ordinance when it comes to um, carrying security. I know uh, not everyone can carry, so maybe look into other stuff that you can legally carry. Um, that's going to be based off of you and whatever state or country you live in. And remember, I'm not giving legal advice. Uh, this is just what I do, and I'm going to highly recommend to you. Just make sure that you're doing it safely and um, that you're doing everything within law and, and all that. Um, make sure that you are training. That is paramount. So security is a perishable skill. So make sure you're getting to the range. Uh, but, but also, you can just do drills at the house. Um, Come over to my Rumble. It's Texas Silver, one word. And the reason why I did a Rumble channel is in the comments, I kept, you know, y'all kept saying, go to Rumble so I can speak freely and I can do these videos. So go to Rumble. Uh, I've got two videos out and I'm about to drop a third one. Uh, so go over and I will include the third one, uh, the link below in the description. So go over to Rumble, check that out. I'm going to be doing some basic, basic marksmanship and weapons manipulation when it comes to pistols. Um, I did a Rumble also because I didn't want to do a Patreon. It's, it's free to come to Rumble. I think all you have to do is set up an account. So instead of me charging you, ladies and gentlemen, to get more access to me, I would much rather... Uh, it be free and then I can pass on this this information to y'all uh, but it's going to go over basic marksmanship and uh, weapons manipulation when it comes to pistols I have two other videos out but I talk about how you can do these drills in your house and that won't cost you anything uh, so come over check those out they are free uh, I've had a bunch of good uh, comments about them so Hopefully what I put out was decent, and um, I, I know that there's a lot of people that have a lot of experience when it comes to this. I'm constantly learning, so even if you are very experienced and have been involved in security for many years, come over. You may still learn something. You know, maybe not, uh, but I'm still picking up stuff as, as I go, and I've been involved in security for a living for pretty much the last 20 years of my life, and I'm still learning, so... Come over, check that out. I'd greatly appreciate you know any and everyone that'll come over there and support me. And uh, hopefully y'all learn something. Uh, I do want to thank everyone for your support. I couldn't do it without y'all. I, I think 99.9% .9 of the comments that I get are positive. Uh, every once in a while I'll get a couple thumbs down, but that's all right. Uh, I'll take those too. But I couldn't do this without y'all. Y'all keep me going uh, with all the positive comments and the support. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you all for liking the video, sharing it. Uh, also, if you could, if you're new or if you've been with me for a while, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. That way you're notified of the next one. Uh, it helps the channel out and it gets uh, more people to see the video. And so it'll help grow the channel and I can get this message out to more people. Uh, God bless, keep prepping, and I'm going to leave it at that because I have more to the video after this, so take care.
and then dump it right in front of that uh dump it right there in front of that uh, here? uh up a little bit closer up all right dump it you're gonna have to lift it up and then dump it keep going dump it all right dump the bucket all right you still gotta go higher now do it nah -uh. all the way up all right now back up back up back up All right, now set the bucket down. Flatten it, there you go, all the way. There you go, set it down. Keep going, all the way down. All right, now come forward. All right, right there. All right, that's good, cut it. <laughs> you did good. But you need to listen better. Carry down to a minimal. Okay. What's commentary? Damn. <laughs> uh, hold on. Man, this is some hard wood still. Right, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy crap! I'm gonna embarrass myself. Right, I guess I haven't been lifting enough. <sighs> Damn, it's splitting it, but it don't want to go. All right, stop recording. Are you recording now? And Is that a yes? Okay, action. Cool. Uh, oh, yeah, this one's going to go. Warning. It'll go. And action. Wow. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Can I say action wherever we're going? No, can't say action. No, I don't care. Oof. Yeah, this wood's pretty thick and hard. So you've been lifting weights, Dad? Uh, apparently not enough. Uh, yeah! All right. Let's go to this one. And action. Shut up. Shut up. Monica. Uh, Dang! It's going. Just split. Yeah, I just... Split. Shush. Shush. You shush. Okay. That's next to silver <laughs> power. Oh, I don't know about all that. Whenever you break it the first try, that's next to silver yeah. power. Holy crap! This piece is just like falling apart. Hey! Don't hit me! Stay out of the way, dude. Hey, Dad, put some more muscle on to it. All right. All right. This wood did not deserve anything to die. You're collecting me for this wood. Poor, okay. poor wood. R.I.P. No more. I'm done embarrassing myself. <laughs> R.I.P. wood. Rip in peace. Or is it off? All right, so I found this guy while I was splitting wood. So we have these all over the place. I think these are the most poisonous ones, but they're the bark scorpions. He's not, Let's see if I can put my hand here without getting it, getting it stung. But just so you have a reference on how big he is. All right, so I got all that wood split. And apparently, the 40s are not with me. That kicked my butt. I guess I need to work harder in the gym. All right, so I'm going to burn this tonight, and uh, I guess it's going to kind of warm up, but I'm going to burn probably four or five of these tonight, but I'll put the rest on the porch for when it cools off, and I need more. So just another day on the ranch. Whew. 
sorry but uh now y'all can see why this thing's so important to me this machine how it's an asset so now instead of having to wheelbarrow all this or load it into a truck and all that i can just move it with the machine then dump it where i want here's the goat family don't run me over Up oh, and dipping dots. She got left. No, quit following me. <laughs> Go put it over there. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. What do you want me to do, Jack? Just turn off right there. Okay. Anyway, are you recording? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so I have dippy dots. She's getting bigger. She's. I need to put more hands on her so she what you have a call ignore the call can i answer it <laughs> no you can't answer it <laughs> you want to bet <laughs> you better not <laughs> not i'm not <laughs> all right so here's dippy dippy dots she's getting bigger all right you want to hold her you want to answer your call no and that can you do a real <laughs> face not retarded face dippy what's wrong you got her mm -hmm. she's not happy though all right at, can you quit looking retarded? Just wow! <laughs> Is that really how you're gonna hold her? She gets on squirming and she's What's comfortable this way. Okay. Yeah, but she's getting bigger, huh? She's getting chubby. Yeah, she'll hopefully start having babies in a year. She already is. She's chubby. No, she doesn't have a baby. All right, put her down. Oh. All right, Dippy. I want this. Okay, you go back to your family. Her name. 